The recession is coming. There is one solution. Retire ASAP. Are you concerned about the impact a prospective recession or economic slowdown could have on your finances? Considering you have time to get ready, you can put your worries to rest because there are numerous practices the typical person can adopt to shield themselves from the consequences of a recession in advance, or even prevent them from being felt at all. So when the recession comes, these strategies might help you financially weather the storm. Hello, and welcome to another The Trend video. Today we are going to talk about why you need to retire before the upcoming recession. Before moving further, kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our upcoming amazing videos. So, here are 9 practical ways you can prepare for retirement in the oncoming recession. 9. Create a fund for emergencies. If you have a large amount of cash in a high-interest FDIC-insured account, not only will your savings preserve their full worth during market upheaval, but they will also be highly liquid allowing you rapid access to your funds if you lose your job or are forced to take a pay reduction. In addition, if you have your own cash, you will be less reliant on borrowing to cover unforeseen expenses or job loss. When a recession occurs, credit availability typically dries up rapidly. When these events occur, use your emergency fund to pay critical expenses, but maintain a limited budget for discretionary spending in order to preserve your emergency fund and replenish it as soon as possible. 8. Live within your financial means. If you make it a practice to live within your means every day during good times, you will be less likely to incur debt when gas or food prices increase, and more likely to modify your spending in other areas to compensate. When you can't pay off your debt immediately, it leads to further debt. If you think gas costs are outrageous now, wait till you're paying 29.99% APR on them with a credit card. See how close you can go to living off of only one spouse's salary if you have a spouse and are a two-income family. How quickly could you pay off your mortgage or retire if you had an additional $40,000 each year to put away? If one spouse is laid off during a recession, you will be able to survive since you will be accustomed to living on one salary. The accumulation of money will momentarily cease, but your thrifty spending habits can continue as usual. 7. Have additional income. Even if you have a terrific full-time job, it's a good idea to have a secondary source of income, such as consulting work or selling collectibles on eBay. With job security being virtually non-existent nowadays, more jobs means more security. Diversifying your income streams is just as crucial as diversifying your investments. If you lose one source of income when a recession occurs, at least you still have the other. You may not be earning as much money as you once did, but every dollar counts. As the economy recovers, you may even emerge from the recession with a thriving new enterprise. 6. Invest for long-term gains. So, what if a market decline causes your investments to decrease by 15%? If you do not sell, you will incur no loss. The market is cyclical, and you have plenty of opportunities to sell high in the long run. In fact, if you purchase during a market decline, you may thank yourself afterwards. Consequently, as you approach retirement age, you should ensure that you have sufficient liquid, low-risk investments to retire on time and allow the stock portion of your portfolio to recover. Remember that you only need a part of your retirement funds at age 65. It may be a bear market when you're 65, but a bull market when you're 70. 5. Be truthful regarding risk tolerance. Yes, investing gurus advise that particular age groups should have certain portfolio allocations. But if you can't sleep when your investments are down 15% for the year, and the year isn't even through, you may need to adjust your asset allocation. The purpose of investments is to offer a sense of financial security, not anxiety. But hold on. Do not sell anything when the market is declining, or you will cement those paper losses. When the market circumstances improve, you should exchange some of your stocks for bonds, or some of your volatile small cap stocks for less volatile blue chip companies. If you have additional cash and wish to modify your asset allocation during a market decline, you may be able to profit by investing in stocks with long-term value that are momentarily undervalued. Buy low so you can sell stocks for a profit or hold them for the long term. Caution should be taken not to overestimate your risk tolerance, since this will lead to poor investment decisions. Even if you are at an age where you are supposed to have 80% in stocks 
and 20% in bonds. If you sell when the market is down, you will never receive the profits that investing experts expect. This asset allocation advice is for those willing to ride out the ride. 4. Spread out your investments. If you do not have all your money in one location, your paper losses should be reduced, making it easier emotionally to weather market troughs. If you own a property and have a savings account, you already have a head start. You have some money in real estate and cash. Attempt to construct a portfolio of investment pairings that are not highly linked, meaning that when one goes up, the other goes down, and vice versa, like stocks and bonds. This also implies that you should investigate asset classes and equities in companies unrelated to your principal career or source of income. 3. Maintain your credit score. If anyone will be approved for a mortgage, credit card, or other sort of loan when credit markets tighten, it will be individuals with good credit, paying your bills on time, keeping your oldest credit cards open, and maintaining a low debt to available credit ratio will help you maintain a high credit score. Maintain connection with your creditors to keep them satisfied by making plans to keep your accounts in good standing during difficult times. Many lenders and companies would want to keep you as a customer rather than write off your account as bad debt. 2. Alternative Investment Strategies Those wishing to improve their portfolios have options other than purchasing the market at or near its lowest. Many variable annuity providers, such as IRA rollovers, offer dollar-cost averaging schemes for new money. The funds are originally deposited into a guaranteed fixed account that often yields a greater interest rate than certificates of deposit or regular fixed income investments. The contract owner will then evaluate the selection of mutual fund subaccounts within the annuity and design a fixed portfolio within his or her risk tolerance, investment aim, usually long-term growth, and time horizon. Then a predetermined part of the account balance is moved into the subaccount portfolio over a predetermined period of time often 6 to 12 months. 1. Profit from your losses. If you have depreciated securities outside of your retirement plan, this may be a good moment to realize some capital losses. Even equities that you want to own for the long term can result in capital losses if you are willing to sell them temporarily and pay particular attention to the wash sale restrictions. A big capital loss recognized now, however, can give a $3,000 carryover deduction for the following many years. This method is applicable to any individual securities, albeit municipal bonds are the most popular application. Let's talk about the bottom line of this video. Although retiring during a recession or bear market is never a pleasant experience, there are a number of steps retirees may take to protect their portfolios against long-term losses. Realizing capital losses, dollar cost averaging, and portfolio rebalancing are among the tactics you can employ to stay afloat in turbulent market conditions. During this vital period, maintaining composure and making sensible decisions are of paramount importance. Those who behave rationally and not out of fear can frequently benefit during these times. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you believe retiring amid recession is a good idea? Are you planning to adopt these strategies? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. Plus, if you want to suggest a topic for the next video, feel free to tell us. See you in the next video, and until then, stay tuned to The Trend.